So once you've installed xDebug, uh, you can debug applications inside NetBeans. So the first thing that you have to do is start uh, by setting up a new project. And um, we're going to use a PHP application with existing sources. Now it is very important that you set this up properly or nothing will work. So I want to browse to um, the X starts folder and I'm going to go to um, chapter 6 underscore EX2. Now notice that um, I have an htdocs folder and inside that I have a joe.read folder and then I have my X starts folder. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to need it in just a minute. And um, so when I when I click on next then um, I have to make sure that the project URL is correct. Now for some reason it it's just wants to see localhost as the root and then wherever I pointed to as just inside that root. So you have to make sure that um, the path is correct. So I'm adding in my X starts folder and then um, remember that I put everything inside a joe.read folder and um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish that and uh, you'll be able to see if this works if you open up double I mean if you double click on uh, display results to open it up then um, test it before you try any debugging test it by running the project and it should pop open um, a window that displays the um, the web page. So I'm going to move that over for now. And um, now, now that we know that this works, the path is correct, we can run the debugger. So one way to do that is just to um, right click on the file and click on debug. And um, Oh, just wait, let me stop for just a second because I forgot to do something. So let me turn off that debugger. And um, you want to make sure that you have a breakpoint in here. And I, I already put one in. I put it uh, right next to the line future value equals investment. So you just click over here and that sets a stopping point when you're doing the debugging. So let's try this again. I'm going to go ahead and um, debug. And what it does is it jumps to the line of code and then it shows you what's what the page is doing. Well it's not doing anything yet because we need to step through um, until we get to the point where the the page is, is displayed. So right now we're just stepping through one line at a time and then um, eventually we'll get to the point where the uh, pages displayed. Now I'm running this on um, the XAMPP 1.7.2 so I'm not seeing the error messages that you would see if you are running it on a newer version of um, XAMPP. The textbook uh, appendix um, A tells you how to get rid of those error messages. But let's go, go ahead and put in some valid values. So I'm going to put in um, 1000 with a yearly interest rate of 5% for 5 years and then I click on calculate and then now we go back to NetBeans and then we can step through some more so I'm going to step through about 3 ste steps or so and um, and then notice that right now you could look at breakpoints um, but you could also click on variables so you can see the values and um, if I click on the super, val super globals, I can go and see what values were posted in uh, with the form. So there's a form variable investment, 1,000, interest rate, 5, and years, 5. Let me, let me um, close out the super globals because now we know what values got passed in through the form. And then notice that we just set investment equals post investment. So we got those values. That's really helpful to know. So now we can continue to step through. And um, 
notice that now I'm inside the loop. So now I have um, more values in here, more variables. So let's step through once more. Now I have a value of i equals 1. And um, then now the next line, it's going to calculate the future value. And um, so you can see that the future value changed and now we've come back around again and we're on our second round of the loop. So again you can just continue to step through and just being able to see what these values are, are is very helpful um, when you're trying to debug. Like if, if for example if something was wrong with those values that got passed in through the form then um, then you know where to go and, and do your work. Um, it's it's going to help you to have that information.